Welcome to this clinical skills revision video. This video is designed to help you prepare and revise for undertaking vital signs for your patients. Please use in conjunction with the resources used and taught during the module. This video will focus on undertaking a pulse. We hope you find it useful. The heartbeat is caused by the contraction of the left ventricle of the heart. Each heartbeat results in oxygenated blood being ejected via the aorta into the arterial system. This causes a pressure wave that can be felt throughout the entire arterial system, otherwise known as the pulse. Taking a pulse rate is a quick, simple and non-invasive vital sign to undertake on your patient. Minimal equipment is required, just a fob watch, and it is a reliable determinant of cardiovascular status. It is used in the assessment and evaluation of treatment and is an early warning of clinical deterioration. This picture shows the nine most common sites to palpate a pulse in an adult. A pulse can be found wherever an artery passes close to the skin and over a firm or bony surface of the body. In an emergency, the common carotid or femoral pulse would be first choice as the pulse will be strongest in these larger arteries and are closer to the heart. For basic observations such as pulse rate and blood pressure, the radial pulse and brachial pulse would be used for their ease of access. This picture shows the 10 most common sites to palpate a pulse in a child. A pulse can be found whenever an artery passes close to the skin and over a firm or bony surface of the body. In an emergency, in an infant, the brachial pulse would be used. In a child over one year, the carotid pulse would be the first choice. The femoral pulse for both infants and children can be used in an emergency. For basic observations such as the pulse rate, the apical beat should be used in children under the age of two. The radial pulse would be used for children over the age of two. To obtain the correct radial pulse position, support the patient's arm with a pillow to ensure comfort. Position the patient's arm with their palm and wrist facing upwards. Place your index and middle fingertips over the inside of the patient's wrist in alignment with their thumb. The radial artery can be found within the groove down from the base of the patient's thumb between the radius bone at the edge of the arm and the tendon in the center of the forearm. To be successful in taking an accurate pulse rate, you must adhere to the pulse assessment criteria. For each step of the criteria, you must also be able to offer the rationale or the why behind each step. It is therefore advised that you read up on the criteria from the resources available to you, such as textbooks and journal articles. To begin with, if not done already, prior to patient contact, you must wash and dry your hands. Introduce yourself and explain the procedure and gain consent. Make sure the patient is sat comfortably and the selected limb is supported with a pillow. Check if the patient has been active or is experiencing any pain or discomfort that may affect your readings. Position the tip of your first and second finger, index and middle, on the pulse site. Make sure your fingers are vertical, side by side, and lightly compress the artery. You should be able to palpate the pulse and count the number of beats for a full minute. Alongside the rate, you must also make note of the rhythm and volume of the pulse. Once completed, record the measurement accurately. Ensure your patient is comfortable and give feedback of the result as appropriate. If at this point you are leaving the patient area, you must decontaminate your hands. Report any abnormalities or significant variation from previous recordings to your mentor. Now I'm going to take your pulse measurement, is that okay? That's fine. Would a pillow be more comfortable for you? Yes it would please. Okay, let's pop this under your arm then. Okay, and just rotate it towards me. Lovely. Would you be able to sit up a little bit for me? 
Is that comfortable? Yes, yeah, fine, thank okay. you. I just need to put my fingers on your wrist, is that okay? It's going to take me a couple of minutes to do the reading. That's fine. Okay. A normal pulse rate for an adult is a range between 60 to 100 beats per minute. A pulse rate below 60 beats per minute is known as bradycardia. A pulse rate more than 100 beats per minute is known as tachycardia. Normal ranges for infants and children are dependent on specific age ranges. Therefore, as child nurses, please ensure you read up and familiarise yourself with the specific ranges identified using academic resources from the module. There are many reasons as to why a patient may be experiencing bradycardia or tachycardia. It is advised that you read up on the common causes from the academic resources available to you. You must be able to start recognising common causes and communicate concerns to your mentor and start initiating appropriate treatment in conjunction with the medical team. Some common causes of bradycardia include cardiac dysrhythmias, hypothermia, disorders of the nervous system, medications such as beta blockers, and can be normal in young or athletic people. Some common causes of tachycardia include strong emotions, exercise, certain medications, pyrexia, shock, hypovolemia, pain, dehydration, and arrhythmias. When undertaking the pulse, you must assess the rate, rhythm and volume. The rate is equal to how many electrical impulses are generated from the heart itself, otherwise known as the heartbeat. The rhythm of the pulse should be regular, but some patients may have irregularities noted. These should be reported to your mentor and medical team immediately. The volume is indicative of the patient's circulatory volume and also looks at the strength of the pulse. Once you have completed the pulse rate assessment, you must accurately document the value recorded on an appropriate observation chart used in practice, such as the National Early Warning Score 2 or the Paediatric Early Warning Score charts. We hope you have found this clinical skills revision video useful. Remember, revise the observation criteria for each skill and practice as much as you can. Use appropriate academic resources to underpin your knowledge.